Hello, I am the Artipithecus cadaver, and my name has its origin in the language of Rar, which is the local language of the place where I was found, so that arti means soil, and that combined with the word of Greek origin Pithecus meaning ape and cadaver meaning oldest ancestor, together, make up my full name. I am approximately 5.8 million to 5.2 million years old, which corresponds to the Miocene period, more specifically to the Mycenaean of the late Miocene. My species became extinct. Between 1997 and 2000, in present-day Ethiopia, samples belonging to five members of my species were found, including teeth, jaws, hands, toes, arms, clavicles, teeth and jaws. Later in the year 2002 in the area of Asa Coma, in middle Awash six teeth, were found which due to their particular characteristics led the researchers to suggest that I belong to a new species of my own, and not to a subspecies of Artipithecus ramidus as at first thought. Therefore, I am a link in the transition from chimpanzees to Artipithecus ramidus, the later species of Australopithecus, and the first species of the genus Homo. My brain is approximately the same as that of today's chimpanzees. Chimpanzees have a cranial capacity of 320 to 480 cubic centimeters. In terms of my shape and size according to my fossil remains, I am also similar to modern chimpanzees, which in an upright position adults are between 1 meter and 1 meter 70 in height. Males in the wild weigh between 34 and 70 kilograms, while females weigh between 26 and 50 kilograms. The bone structure of my toes indicates that I may have been bipedal. My molars are larger than those of chimpanzees, however, my lower canines and upper premolars are similar to those of hominids. My large posterior molars and narrower incisors suggest that other fiber-containing foods such as nuts were present in my diet in addition to fruits and leaves. I lived in a place where there were forests and grasslands with lakes, swamps and springs. There is no evidence of specific cultural attributes. However, I may have used simple tools similar to those used by modern chimpanzees such as branches, sticks and other easily manipulated plant materials as well as unmodified stones.